Hey guys, it's Matt from drawingtutorialsonline.com. We're here with Jared today. And uh, hey, Jared, Jared's got a w and say hello, ladies. Hello. Oh. All right, we've got a wickedly good sketchbook. And uh, I know at the beginning of every video I say wickedly, but it's just a habit. So we have a very chaotic sketchbook here. And um, I had to share this to you. First of all, I'm allowing Jared, Jared's special, I'm allowing him to do small sketchbooks. Um, he's doing a lot of small sketchbooks and they're going to equal the, the big sketchbooks. And he's using a little, what is this, like an 8x5 moleskin or something like that. And the stuff in here is just like outrageous. And, and that's why I want to show it. These are just like little drawings that he did on the back of receipts and he just kind of tapes them in and that's acceptable for me. And um, you guys just totally, I'm trying to find a way to bend this, totally have to uh, appreciate um, this, like, watercolor stuff. I got it. I've got okay. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because you're blocking some light. Actually, come to my left. Let's see. That's even better. Yeah, awesome. Jared, this is watercolor? Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, that was, that's acrylic, but I watered it down. Okay, so you're working with acrylic in there. And just the design and the color in here is just... It's different, and I, and I like it because it's extremely creative. And um, my sketchbooks really aren't that creative, and, and Jared is just oozing creativity out of his um, skin right into his sketchbook. It's really nuts um, what he does with markers. Even today in class was, was definitely kind of interesting um, what he was doing. And, and everything just has such a nice design element. It has shape. It has line involved. Um, and and I, I just, I like things that are messy and, and chaotic like this just because it's something that I wouldn't do. And I like to see, you know, the creativity of others and what they do in their sketchbook. And it's interesting. Like it gives, and there's our good friend Ignacio. Ignacio, if you're watching, that was a beautiful costume. Um, so, yeah, it's just, it's just, we had this modeling costume. I mean, just with the marker, I, there I am sitting with my little color erase pencil and Jared's out there with these markers, teal and uh, an orangey color, and it just came out, as Ignacio would like us to say, fabulous. Um, so I'm just uh, moving on over here. That was an inside joke. Um, just cool stuff. Just, what was that from the website drawing? Um, I think so. Yeah, so, online. So then we just remember some of these drawings. And this was the assignment where we, that was the perspective. Just more color, more chaos, more chaos. So this would be you're drawing a bunch of people, um, or you're just kind of scribbling with that? Because I know that you overlap your gesture drawings. Yeah, the some figure on top of figure, just take cool. any, any marker, any pen, anything, and I just draw. I'm just trying to make an interesting image. Mole skin is tough to go through. Pages are really thick, but... Um, you know, again, it's just love the design, love the color sense. I mean, you really got a great color sense. And just even this page, I, I love it with um, that stuff that's going on up there. I'm trying not to shake. It's Oliver. Is that who I think it is? See what I mean about each page is just like such eye candy to look at. It's just really good stuff. And uh, Jared's also every once in a blue moon drawn with a regular color erase pencil. Um, but I, I, I just want, I wanted to share this sketchbook with y'all uh, because it's so different than what I've been showing with a lot of the um, YouTube videos of some of my students' sketchbooks. And, you know, again, a lot of the students, uh, it, it takes a lot of guts to let somebody look into your sketchbook because your sketchbook is kind of like a personal thing. So I totally appreciate everyone who shares it. And, uh, you know, I don't know if I would have sh shared my sketchbook so um, when I was younger. Uh, so I totally appreciate, um, Jared, you sharing this today because it's just, uh, it just gives, it gives people like ideas of what they, what they could possibly do when, when they're working in, in their stuff. Just color ideas, um, medium ideas. And I guess one word, if I had to sum up Jared's sketchbook in like one word, I, I guess I would call it 
Um, it's a tough call between like outrageous and uh, chaos. This is just so neat. So maybe we can call it outrageously chaotic. Yeah, where was this? Um, Thursday class, our class on Thursday, and some new building across from us. So red pen, mm -hmm. gray marker, mm -hmm. nice combination. There you go. Being creative. <laughs> Just grab all your cards and go nuts. Okay, we got a couple more in here. And, and, and Jared can draw. It's not like he can't draw and he's trying to mask bad drawing skills with color um, and, and mediums. Like he, he could, you know, turn on the drawing jets too. It's just uh, he's being a little bit more playful in, in this particular sketchbook. I mean, that foot down there is really cool. Um, drawing from the African wing at the Met. Just again, the, the great color. All right, so we're coming to the end of this sketchbook. I hope that you guys enjoyed looking at it. I know, like today, I had all my students draw um, each other as animated characters, and I just needed some time to look at everyone's sketchbooks. And um, when I opened up Jared's, I was like, whoa, we, we've got to film this thing. It's pretty sick. And um, I'm happy that he, that he agreed to it. And yeah, thanks, Jared, so much for sharing. Um, what do we do here in, um, actually there's a couple more here. Um, that's the second to last one, I think. Just one. Okay, what do we do here today? Jared, don't go anywhere. Oh. We did how to draw hands and feet. Mm -hmm. So, just to kind of give you guys an idea, I used to do, um, I, I used to do a lot of hands and feet tutorials on, on YouTube, but this is what we did here today in class, just kind of going over some basics about how to draw hands and feet. So that was our foot page, and I'm all thumbs right now. Um, I like those two little feet down over there, they're interesting, and just from a different point of view. These were like four to five minutes each, so we were, we were doing a little bit more about gesture of how to draw hands and feet. And then some of these are okay, uh, gestural drawings like in, in five minutes and some technique drawings of the hands. So I just want to share with you guys what we were doing in, in class today. I think that's my best gestured hand right over there. So Jared, thank you for sharing. I appreciate it. See you girls. Have a good weekend. If you guys want to leave a comment at Drawing Tutorials Online blog, that would be great. And thanks so much for watching. <laughs>